Hi there. I want to pick up directly today on a response to somebody called Casey who emailed me and she is really concerned. And this, as so many of the other emails and calls we're getting right now, they relate very directly to things that are happening um, in relation to COVID and the progress that the government's making. And Katie's email followed um, hot on the heels of the change in dialogue, I guess, around the fact that the government are now saying, actually, we should probably all be encouraged to go back into the workplace. And for Katie, this has meant her boss being in touch, saying that they're now expecting her to return back to the office five days a week. And her immediate thought was, I'm not ready to. And in part, that's to do with the virus, but also that's to do with her recognising that She's not in a great place with her eating disorder at the minute. She's found it really difficult while she's been isolated during the whole lockdown um, phase and that some of her behaviours have been kind of re-triggered. But of course, Katie's never had the official, if you like, or full conversation with her employer about her eating disorder. And now she's thinking, is this the right time? Do I just um, position this entirely around COVID and say I'm nervous about the virus? Or do I come out and say, actually, my mental health is vulnerable? Now, that surfaces all sorts of concerns at a time when people feel vulnerable about their jobs. Should you raise that actually you could be that employee that has slightly more to worry about than other people on the staff team? Well, first of all, I would say don't ever for one minute think that you're kind of uncommon in having a mental health issue. A lot of people do. And actually with COVID, there'll be even more people who are battling with anxiety and issues. But on the eating disorder issue, should you front up? Should you talk to your boss, your line manager or your HR director about the fact that you have an entrenched eating disorder or something that's resurfacing around old eating disorders behaviours and that actually now you're worrying about going back into the workplace. Should you do that? Yes, I really think you should. And I say that kind of knowing how vulnerable everybody feels about their work. But actually, I also think now's a good time as any to find out like how where does your employer sit on your mental health and your well-being? Should you not say anything and just find yourself ambling back to work, but actually not being ready to do it? Have you not got the resilience and the strength and capacity to deal with your job? Should you just go back to work and find that actually then you can't manage anyway and then your boss gets a poor impression because your work rate's not what it once was and then in the meantime your eating disorder has all the more reasons to despise you and to give you a worse time with your health issues? No. And it is a really difficult one because as I say everybody feels vulnerable about their job and their work at the minute. But the best employers out there, the best ones with really strong HR functions will understand and they will have that conversation with you. How they handle it, we don't know that. But actually, I would say, if you are feeling vulnerable about your mental health right now, you have an opportunity to have that conversation as fully as you choose to or not, but certainly to say you are not ready to go back into the workplace. If you want some of our guidance around that, about the questions that you might raise with your um, with your line manager about how they're going to handle it when you are back in the workplace. If you want to have a conversation to put you at ease, we're very, very happy to do that. But I would urge anybody, don't go racing back into the workplace if you don't feel ready to. Do it when your mental health and your resilience is at a good place for you. You have to look after yourself. Okay, take care.